Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the trace tool to trace over a line segment uh, and make a new feature out of it. So the project we have here is a hydrologic network, basically a bunch of streams and associated with the Middlebury River. And right now, this is all one big uh, one feature. What we want to do actually is make a make a new shape file and then trace a new feature, a new single feature, that's going to be only the center line of the Middlebury River, along which we want to extract the topographic profile. So there's different ways to do this, but it turns out the fastest way for us is just to go ahead, make a new shape file, and just trace this line. Okay, so let's start by making a new shape file. That's going to be here, of course, um, and we're going to give it a name. The name is going to be Topo Profile Line, and it is going to be a polyline shapefile. And we can leave everything else. It's going to take the default coordinate system of, of the project. So we'll hit OK, overwrite it. OK, so here it is. It's now empty. It doesn't really exist yet. OK, so now how do we go ahead and trace this other line? So the first thing we need to do is make sure we have the right toolbars up. So we're going to right click in an empty space up in the toolbar area. First thing, we're going to add the digitizing toolbar. So that'll, that'll bring us up some tools to let us do the, the editing. And then we're also going to right click and add the snapping toolbar. And this is actually where the trace tool lives. So some of the options here, and so first of all, what is snapping? Snapping is when you're tracing and the cursor is automatically snapped or drawn to the nearest vertex or line that already exists. That's why the, the magnet symbol is going to turn this on and off. Also, let's snap to both vertexes and segments of the, the layer. This, of course, is the buffer for how far you want to, how far your cursor has to be in order to get that snap effect. And then we're going to actually turn on the trace tool here. All right, so now that the trace tool is enabled, let's go and turn on uh, our editor here. We can actually just do that with the pencil once we have our digitizing toolbar. So once you see the pencil down here, you know you're editing. And this is going to actually let us uh, add a line feature. So now I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to trace this all the way down. So I'm going to start actually by zooming in pretty close up here. So I can actually drop this initially right on the top of the Actually, quick change of plan. Let's go back and make this all layers. We're going to snap to all layers. All right, so here we go. Let's try to drop this point. Boom, see the purple box shows you it's snapping. We're going to click here once, left click. Now the trace is on. And notice it's coming along. I'm going to click again, and notice it traced that perfectly. So I'm kind of going across it. I don't know how close you have to stay with it, but definitely left click every so often so that you're getting that good trace. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, maybe not too much, but the, fa the further you zoom, the better off you are, the faster it goes. So now I need to go back and grab this again. And I'm going to keep going down, left click again, good, it's still there. And actually all the way to the end, and then I'll right click as usual to finish it, give it an ID of 1, and voila, we've now pretty quickly just extracted that line. And I'm going to stop editing save the edits, and stay tuned for the next video where we will go ahead and extract this topographic profile.